Welcome to Friday Rules and this time we will have a close look at the NT Event Log Alert Rule. We will target all Windows Server 2012, create a custom event log called Friday Rules with PowerShell. Then we will generate uh, events using PowerShell as well. And if there is a event with ID 14 and source crash app, then alert, an alert should be raised. The alert description should contain the event description, the event ID. And there is a special um, case I would like to show you how we are going to enrich the alert name with dynamic data from the alert description. Sounds interesting to you? Then let's start. So let's start. Um, as you can see, I'm connected to my lab environment. Go to authoring, select rules, right clicks, create a new rule, and go to alert generating rules, select NT event log alert rule, and first we create an empty management pack called friday.rules and the description will be mp for storing um, friday rules hit next and click create then hit next the rule name will be um, let's say friday oh. Friday, if there an issue with my keyboard, Friday, NT event log rule, rule category, believe it's for alert. And first, um, we would like to target only Windows Server 2012. Let's search for the Windows Server 2012 operating system. Um, this will target all Windows Server 2012 servers, including R2 versions. Because we want to um, execute it on all those 2012 servers, I leave the rule enabled. Hit next. And the log name will be, um, we will create a custom event log and the name will be Friday rule. Friday rules and hit next. The event ID will be uh, 14. And the source is our crash app. Okay. You can enter here as many criteria as you want. Um, here you select the um, event properties. You can even order the login computer, log name, or user. Um, whatever you want. Here it makes sense to, to just pick the event ID and the event source. Um, you could also change it up here to a uh, or group. So if you want to combine with other criteria, instead of and you switch to to a or group. Um, so you're very flexible. Click next. And here um, we will modify the alert description. Um, Basically, um, this time we can leave this parameter here as it is. You don't need to change anything. Um, my goal is to um, add the event number. And also um, the event source. So we see that it's coming from our crash app. 
event number uh, we select here um, go up here select data and then event number it's easy as that event source we go to data and pick the event source name um that's basically it is um in the introduction i mentioned that um, we can add dynamic um, information up to the alert name um, i will show you how to do it right now um, those um, parameters down here they have a, a number um, which you can refer to um, if I want to refer to the first one to the event description it would be a zero and close it uh, if I want to refer to the event number itself then it would be um, ID one and if it's if you want to um, use the event source as I would like to then I select number two i will show you then um, when the alert is generated that this is being re replaced by the data which is coming from here i don't want to go into much details and open the management pack why it is um, i just want to show you that it that you can do it um, there are some um, yeah, you, you have to be careful how you are going to use it because um, it's it's dynamic data, so um, it will not be always um, written. Um, if you have maybe a connector to other system, um, this will be not resolved, this data up here, and you can run into issues. But if you just display the alert in the console, it's absolutely no problem. Um, you can work th um, that way. Um, the severity, we, we don't change it. We just generate critical alert and leave medium. That's okay. And then we click create. So in the background, I already target to the Windows Server 1012 operating system. Um, we should see the rule somewhere here. Uh, that's fine. I assume you, you know how to scope down this view. If not, I um, just will briefly show you. I click scope. And here you can select all the classes you want to. 2012 operating system, we select it again. Of course, you could also, if you have the 2008 management pack installed, then you can use 2008 server operating system or SQL server or whatever you have installed in your environment. It's okay. And again, we are back and there is our rule. So let's switch to monitoring. Uh, let's go to active alerts. And next, um, there is currently no um, event lock, which is called Friday rules. As you remember, in the rule I select to that the rule will watch for any um, event in the Friday rules event log. Um, here in the applications and service logs node, there is nothing down here. And also in the, on the Windows log, there is no event log. So we just need to create it. Um, let's clear the screen. And um, I will use PowerShell to create a custom event log new event lock and the first parameter we have to select is the lock name 
will be Friday rules. It is essential to, to provide the source and our source is the crash um, the crash app and then we just need to hit enter um, if you just go here and uh, make a refresh um, it's not enough um, we have to basically reload event viewer So we execute the command again, go down to applications and services logs, that's the place where this log is being written. And then you see here is a Friday rules event log. So next step is we, we want to write the new end and for that we have another PowerShell command let write event log and we have to provide the log name it's Friday rules next um, the source is our crash app and then uh, we have to provide the message it's it's the same as um, then the description alert description um, application lifetime just some text here and the more important is the event ID um, we say it's the event ID 14 whatever and the entry type oops, entry type is uh, what sort is it this information or is it an error um, I just will create an information alert and that's all parameters I need to provide oops um, oh I just see I have here a typo in my event log so as you can see I typed uh, fire <laughs> fire day <laughs> Um, okay, so we just uh, remove the event log and the log name and day rules. Hit enter, it's removed, and I will create a new event log, uh, log name, and will modify my log name of course Friday rules hit enter open event viewer again go to application let's close this in, in the background here So again, application, and now it's okay. Let's fire an event again. Nothing to complain, and we should have an informational alert here and the source crash app and you maybe have seen that in the background just the rule triggered an alert and here we have the event description and the event number and the event sources crash app and the notice here that 
Friday end event log rule and up here this crash app is coming from down here okay so remember uh, when I'm saying this crash app he up here is coming from down here if we open the event log rule again go to configuration down here click edit and you see here it's this replacement parameter 2 because it starts here the description would be 0 event number would be 1 and event source is the second one um, you can see that it is dynamic if we let's say uh, replace that by a one hit ok press apply click ok and if we make a refresh currently busy and as you can see up here it changed to the event ID 14 um, just another tool if you need to create um, events in the event log um, and if you don't want to use um, um, a, a custom event log as we created with PowerShell um, there we could simulate uh, a custom application which is, which is writing custom events into that Friday rules event log um, if you need to generate um, uh, event entries, for example, into the application or system log, then you can uh, use event create. It is an old command line utility which you can find in almost uh, any Windows. So uh, display the help menu, then we start event create. Um, start with the ID, let's say 14, then the source um, is my crash, crash app, the type will be an error, typo there, the description is just, just another error and the lock we need to specify is application and that's it hit enter and here the, it is confirmed that is success open the application lock hit refresh and there is the custom event. You can use this utility if you want to test your event rules or event monitors. You can basically simulate um, event IDs, description and sources the way you want. Okay, um, that's it from Friday Rules. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.